Uh, advice, buddy's ex. What's up, Billy boy? I need a little unlicensed of that unlicensed advice that you've been doling out. I like that this guy said that. This is my unlicensed advice that you should not listen to because uh, I do not have a degree in anything. All right? I am about two shades below Dr. Dr. Phil. That's how bad I am at this. Okay? That wasn't pumping me up. That was dragging him down. Uh, my friend recently broke up with a girl he's been dating for a while and wouldn't, and wouldn't you know it, this girl is the tits. I've been friendly with this guy for almost a year, and his girls was always with us when we hung out. Oh, Jesus. All right, I can tell you right now, just go ahead and bang her and say goodbye to your friendship. Um, from the moment I met her, I've liked her and wanted to bang her. Oh, wait, but you just want to fuck her. Ah, oh, dude, this is dirty. This is dirty. She's the kind of girl I imagine when I think of a girl I would want to have a relationship with. Go fuck yourself. You said you wanted to bang her first. Are you like some sadistic guy who just wants to uh, fuck this girl and fuck her better than your friend? So you can just be behind her going, yeah, you like that, bitch? Huh? You like that? You one of those guys? He's trying to paint a good picture here, but I'm not buying it. Classy, attractive, funny, the whole shebang. Dude, right off the bat, the first thing you said was you wanted to bang her. I don't know. You're trying to be funny. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's plow ahead. Uh, I've even developed feelings. Feelings? Question mark. I know that's gay. Fuck you. Uh, for her. See how guys? We just can't. We just. We're not allowed. I actually like this girl. I actually feel like I could spend. Like I can't even say that without having that. Ah. Oh, oh my god. Fucking tone in my voice. Um. Let me see if I can just say it how I say it. I really like this girl. I think I could spend my life with her. Okay, that just sounded like a bad read. There's no way to say it without being like, I just feel like I just really connect with her. <laughs> ah, go fuck yourselves. Uh, I've even developed feelings for her quickly. I liked hanging out with her whenever she tagged along. I never flirted with her or anything like that. But I did rub her muff under the table. Come on, dude. You're leaving some shit out. He didn't say that last part, but come on. But we did get along pretty well. I would and still do think about her all the time. Some real grade school crush type shit. Now they've broken up and she's single and ready, presumably, to do some revenge banging. Yeah, dude, you're a piece of shit, but God bless you. She was hot enough, I'd probably do it. Nah, I wouldn't. My younger days, I would. I wouldn't. Maybe I would. I don't know. I'm not going to judge you. Anyways, see where I'm going with this? Yeah, I saw where you were going with it from the second I started reading it. Anyway, unlike most guys, I don't want to just bang this broad. I want I want to be with her, do the whole boyfriend thing. But I know doing so would break one of the most important rules of male friendship. Never fuck your friend's girl. However, the power of pussy has me thinking that's crazy and that the best and that's the best thing for me to do. However, the power of pussy has me thinking that's crazy and that the best thing for me to do is wait four to six months until things settle down and see if she feels the same way that I do. I'm not sure if she will, but I'm willing to try and find out despite the ramifications. What do I do, Bill? Should I go after this awesome girl risking my friendship or do I go bros before hoes, forget her, and wait for the next whore du jour? Uh, or am I just batshit crazy? Um... Ah, Jesus, dude. Like, I, I can't figure you out. You're sitting here talking like you're goo goo gaga, and then you're also just saying like you just kind of want a banger. All right, this is what I'm going to tell you. Okay, rather than just telling you it, I'm going to tell you that this is what I'm going to tell you before telling you that, thus eating up more time in this horrific podcast. Um, this is the sad thing about getting older. Okay, when your friends get older and they get married – and they have kids, you barely see them anymore. It sucks. Okay? And if they have some, if they married some fucking douchebag who, you know, they, and, 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 they, and they just gave their balls away in the relationship, you're never going to see them again. But if they actually have a cool wife who lets them go out and hang out with the fellas, you're still only going to see each other once in a while. You got to raise kids. So in the long run, if you feel like, this girl might be the one. You got to do it. You can't. You're going to regret it for the rest of your life. But if this is just some sadistic shit where it was she was you just wanted to bang her because she was around, 
you know, and you saw it, like, it's just like, dude, I got to tell you, if you bang that girl and afterwards you're not feeling anything, dude, it's like now she's got something on you. And if she's a psycho and if they had a bad breakup, you can better fucking believe like that's like that's chicks ways of getting back at guys like they'll go out and fuck their friends. Um, I mean, just I mean, you want just like hell hath no fury, as they say, like a woman scorned. And if it's a bad breakup, like women, they, they want to throw all your shit out in the front lawn, light it on fire. OK, and that's not enough to fucking go after your material things. Okay, that's what they want to do. They want to leave you with, and then they want to go out and go bang all your fucking friends and then let you know about it. So then you lose all your friends, you lose your entire wardrobe, you stand there like a flood victim, just tearing up as it starts to rain as you stand on the fucking front porch of some dilapidated fucking three family house. That's how they want to leave you. They're fucking nuts. Some of them. Okay, so. You know the deal, dude. You're stepping in shit. You're looking at a field. You know it's a minefield, and you want to walk across it anyways because there's a woman at the other side of it, which this is a classic Shakespearean tale about ready to unfold. So, and I can say that having never read Shakespeare. I tried to read it. It's more complicated than the Bible. Um, I, You know... I don't know, dude. I don't. You you have to. This you got to figure out where the fuck you're at with this shit. All right. Do you really like this girl? Do you really think she's the one, or was she just around long enough that you just were thinking about her and you you know looking at her tan fucking thighs or her fucking titties or a goddamn mouth or something? You just like I'd be wonder what it would be like, you know? And you just sat there doing that the whole fucking time. There always is that excitement that all your guy friends have when you break up with a hot girl because they're all like, oh, God, I always wanted to fuck that girl. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right? And you guys have that conversation with each other, and that's how you fucking talk like a bunch of pirates. You sit there, hey, did you hear uh, Mike and Joanne broke up? Can you believe that? Yeah, that's fucking crazy. And then you guys sit there, and then there's that half-second pause, and you both just start laughing because, you know, like, dude, we can't. We can't. Oh, geez, I would love to. I would love to. Uh, I won't say anything. You don't fucking say anything. It's just, it's fucking brutal. It's brutal. And then the guy's all insecure because this is the, the, the bottom line is if, you know, that's why you don't bring your girl around. You don't bring your girl around because you do it enough. Your, your guy friends are going to want to fuck her, you know, and then she kind of gets to know them. And then th- did you already do that stupid fucking phone call when you call? Hey, you know, just calling up just to say I'm sorry you guys broke up i thought you guys looked great together blah 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 and try to catch her in that weak fucking moment did you do that you predator ah we all have um that is a shit storm sir there's no uh there's no way out of that um and there's no way you're gonna wait six to eight months because if the girl's hot enough in six to eight months she's already gonna have somebody else and uh, if you come back around again it's gonna be like her going backwards so there, see what I did? I just lit a candle on your ass to go fucking do it. Ah, oh, gives a shit. Let me know how it works out.